Hi everyone, I'm Emily. Today, I'll show you how to add a workflow to your platform in Liferay DXP 7.4. As usual, I'm signed in as my administrator. I'll open the global menu at the top right, and we can see under the Applications tab, a section for Workflow. I'll select Process Builder. We already have one workflow published, the default single approver. To add a new one, I'll click the blue Add button. We'll call this workflow Admin Approval. To start off, we already have a start node and an end node with one connector. We can easily click and drag these nodes to move them. For now, I'll delete the connector by selecting it and hitting Backspace. I'll click OK. We're going to build a process where a user creates a new asset and then an administrator reviews it. I'll add two task nodes to represent these stages. If I hover next to a node, I can see a plus sign that lets me create connections. I'll drag that over to our task node, and the highlighted circle tells me that the connection can be completed. I'll add a connection between the two task nodes to represent the submission of our draft for review. I'll add one between the second task node and the end node to represent approval, and then one more between the two task nodes to represent rejection. I can rename these nodes and connections by selecting them. This opens the Properties tab. I'll name the two task nodes. The first one will be Draft, and the second one will be Review. Now I'll name the connections. The first connection will be Create, the second one, Submit, this top one, Reject, and the last one, Approve. Now that we've named these, we need to make sure that each node applies to the correct user. I can add a lot of customization here and even use GroovyScript to complete other actions within the workflow. For the draft node, we'll leave the assignments as Asset Creator. For review, however, we need to change this to an administrator. I'll choose Role, and then select Site Administrator, and click Save. I also have the option to put a timer. I'll set a three-day reminder, change the duration, and then after three days, I'll have it perform an action, a notification, or a reassignment. For now, I'll set a notification. I'll choose text from my template and add, please review the asset as our message. We'll send this as a user notification. And then we'll change the recipient to that site administrator. Now we'll click save. Finally, when the asset reaches the end, I want to give a notification to the asset creator to make sure that they know everything has been approved. We'll call this approved, set the language to text, and add the message, asset has been approved, and select user notification. We can see that the asset creator is already selected, so I'll save that. And now we can publish our workflow. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.